Most of all, a high-level dialogue is an opportunity. Um, it's an opportunity for new or recently appointed commissioners in an institution to talk among themselves about what they hope to accomplish for the institution itself. And really have a conversation about what's so unique about national human rights institutions. Why have they accepted the appointment? What do they hope to achieve? And what do they see as the critical human rights issues facing their country? So it's a very important opportunity to, to learn, to reflect individually and collectively, and then to, to plan in general terms the future. And to do that uh, in conjunction with a small number, two or three people, who have similar experience from other institutions outside their own country. It's very much tailored to meet the needs of the specific uh, National Human Rights Institution, but more importantly, the specific members who've been appointed. We, we always precede it um, by sending a questionnaire to the commissioners who will participate to identify their priorities. So the, the two days are, are structured very much according to the priorities that are expressed by the commissioners when this preliminary work is done. You know, it's really starting where people are at, but the conversations, they can go all over the place. Without exception, I can say that by the end of the two days, there is a higher level of trust among the commissioners than there was at the beginning. And had an opportunity to canvas how they might proceed to really make a difference, because that's, that's ultimately their role. It is about you know, building trust, increasing knowledge, ensuring that there's a clearer sense of common direction um, in the institution that we're working with. And it's, it's those kinds of results that we're looking for.